We're going to turn now to a friend, not just a friend of the show, but a friend of ours here at ABC News. She has another, I think the fourth of her in her line of children's books. I have it in my hand here. And this one is actually tackling a touchy subject that a lot of families and parents deal with. Rose. Yeah. How high is heaven? We have, of course, Lindsay Davis with us. And, you know, I know your son has been your muse yes. in, in, in many of these books. And it was a question he was asking. But unfortunately, it's a question a lot of kids have had to deal with, a uh, situation a lot of kids have had to deal with during this pandemic when it comes to a death of a loved one. Uh, of course, as you guys have been talking about regularly, just past that grim milestone, of more than 920,000 deaths due to COVID in the last two years. One out of four of those are, are primary caregivers. So that was a parent, that was a grandparent. And so you have more than 200,000 kids who have essentially been orphaned uh, by COVID-19. And I think that especially for the youngest among us, it's a really difficult uh, topic to really tackle. Somebody that you love, who you were seeing every single day, all of a sudden, they're not there anymore. And for us, it came in, in a really different form. My son came home from school one day and he said, how come my friend has two grandmas and two grandpas and I just have one of each? Um, and so I started immediately, I said, well, Grandma P uh, is in heaven. And so he said, well, I want to see her. And so I started showing pictures of Grandma P to my son. And, and that's Grandma P there mm -hmm. to the left. And so he said, no, I want to go to heaven to see her. And continued to talk about this for days and weeks. And we were on a plane several months later. And he said, well, I, was, I was looking out the window. I don't see her. I said, you don't see who? I don't see Grandma P. I thought that when we were here in heaven, we were going to be able to see her. And so I felt like, let's just have this conversation in a book form that all parents can kind of, because this is something that's, it's a difficult topic to, to discuss with kids. Well, it's difficult, but do you find, and this is supposed to help parents, kids navigate, but is it different based on parents, parents' personalities, sure. kids' personalities, ages, and also some homes are, are steeped in religion. Right. Or not. You know, and, and this is the kind of thing where it could be considered a religious book. I think in all of the, the holiest of, of books, they talk about heaven as being a reward of some sort, right? And, and that reward is, is varied in, in different ways. But this is not really a hard hitting look at death and that conversation. This is really a whimsical look at a little boy who's trying to physically find his way to see his grandmother in heaven. And he's gonna build a Lego staircase and a trampoline and a hot air balloon and a spaceship, whatever he feels that uh, might be able to get him to, to visit his grandmother and, and be reunited with her. And I think that that is the hope and, and crux of the book, really, is that it provides a little bit of comfort. It provides a little bit of a, of a glimpse into from a child's eyes, because I think so often as, as adults, we, we think about this in a very intellectual way, right? And you could have a dozen different theologians and philosophers debate and pontificate about death and, and heaven, and everybody would kind of land in a different place. But from that intellectual perspective to kids with their imagination, and what they think about. You know, I know that my son, after a while, he was finally calmed down when I said, you're going to see her again. That there was that hopefulness of, of the reunion. And I think that we all have a different thing. I remember when I was a little girl, my grandmother called me and was trying to comfort me about my own grandfather's death. And she said, you know, you can consider him like a star in the sky who's always looking out for you now. And, and that did it for me. The, the idea that I was gonna have this guardian angel, well, it provided that little bit of comfort. And I hope that that's what parents find in the pages of this book. Well, this is a beautiful book, number four, as we mentioned, and your theme is, is almost entirely about love and it's about how parents can share that with their children so this is a beautiful addition to the ones we already have and so i know parents and children everywhere are going to love it and we love having you on the show thank as you. always I love being here. you said you didn't have to write another book to come back <laughs> and yet that's exactly what you did that's a good point it's my guaranteed that's way wild. to see the three of you that's what i gotta do all right everyone Lindsay's book how high is heaven is available everywhere books are sold thanks again Lindsay. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.